For those who are new here, we're Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. My name is Spencer. And I am Daniel. And look, we love us some Fred Dibna on this channel. Yep. We've done all the popular clips of him. We did yep. one of his series, his swan song, Fred Dibna's yeah. Made in Britain. Whew. And everyone has been sending us Fred Dibna, a final goodbye, the day Bolton stood still, a.k.a. his funeral. Now, this is going to be a somber... I feel like Fred is just part of this channel, man. Part we've been of- we've been with him through that journey. We've been, we've been watching him take those steep uh, he steeplejacking those uh, chimney stacks down. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh man, it's just ever since 2020 uh, uh, December 2022 when there's him climbing up that thing just took off without us e- expecting it to. No. Not at all. has had a home on this channel. Yeah, and it's you know it's gonna be bittersweet, you know, because we I mean we all know that you know unfortunately he 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 passed. Um, yeah, he's no longer with us, but so, he's here in spirit. I feel like this is just gonna be a moment, and so yeah. I'm glad. I'm anything. I'm glad that this video exists, and I'm glad that we're able to view it. You know, uh, X absolutely, and with the, through the power of social media and YouTube, his legacy lives on. Yep. All right. Ready to go in, Dan? Yeah, man. Let's do it. All right. Three, two, one. This is probably about eight o'clock in the morning. Everybody making their engines look as... as tidy as they can for the special occasion. That's the Fowler coat of arms. That's Evening Star. This is a showman's engine owned by Mike Priestner. It's a Burrell single crank compound. John Pennington, a farmer from Dunham Massey. Well, it's a very sad occasion, this, of course, and everybody's, uh, well, the ones that were within reach of bringing their engine. Of, uh, very kindly made the effort. At least one engine had been put away for the winter. Boiler drained and uh, firebox greased up and everything. And he still made the effort to uh, wow. bring it along and steam it up today. Goodness Much gracious. appreciated, of course. Few of the floral tributes. This is the wall just outside his house. All this activity is taking place just outside, outside his house. Of course. The old trusty Land Rover, which has been off the road, I believe, for a few weeks, wanting some uh, major work, but uh, we couldn't leave it out on this occasion. So it was. Uh, just being coupled up behind the living van there. That was my transport to and from home while I, during the five happy years I spent with Fred. He'd no use for it of an evening. He said, you might as well take it. And it was uh, backed outside our house for most of the time during the five years. That's his air bar that he used when he put it behind his roller, or behind his living van. More polishing. There's John Pennington, farmer from Dunham Massey.
So making a little bit of a special effort. There were four visiting engines in total. One from as far away as Nottingham. Wow. That's so this be one, it. so be it. Jeff Lamb from Nottingham. Engine owner for many years and met up with Fred at rallies from time to time. They've all come on low orders, of course. The shed's not on fire there, it's just uh, steaming up the roller. The tractor is in one side of the shed and the, the roller is where it's always been. The roller has a ventilator above it so that most of the smoke from the chimney can get straight out through the roof, but that doesn't occur in the case of the tractor, that's why that the tractor's filling the shed with smoke. Oh my God. Man, oh man. You can see the line shaft in there. There's the showman's engine, Mike Priesters. He's not had that long, he's only had it about, uh, about two years. Showman's engines welcome a run on the road now and again, of course, because they, uh, being such big machines, they're, they're nearly always moved from rally to rally on a low order. Just a few of them get an occasional road run. Starting to get very busy on Radcliffe Road there. I don't uh, usually park cars, but uh, I think they've been kept away on this particular day. The police were informed, of course, that all this activity would be going on, so they've uh, kept the road entirely free for us, as the low loaders are parked up further down. Ah, now this is the trailer that's going to carry Fred's coffin. It's been brought up from Worthing behind the Land Rover by Michael Weber, a young chap who used to see a great deal of Fred when he lived in Bolton, but he moved down south and now runs his own little engineering firm. He's decorated it all and he's done an absolutely wonderful job. He's got all the bits and pieces of Fred's profession. There's his boson's chair and the, the hammer and chisel and some dogs on the other side, that's it. They were used for driving into the chimney to tie the ladders to. A couple of ladders there with his name. Oh, preferred. Spent many hours preparing that trailer and done a wonderful job. We're all indebted to him. Yeah, man, that's so heartwarming. Like, you know, the whole steep, not just steam engine and like steeplejack community is yeah. rallying <clears throat> in support of him. And like, you know, doing it the way Fred would want it, you know. And something that he was passionate about, steam engines. Yep. yep. And that the thing that's carrying his coffin, like that's a very touching tribute right there. Oh yeah. It's yeah. it's <clears throat> nothing is just nothing is normal because he didn't deserve normal. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying right. like spectacular, like over the top <clears throat> right. royalty, but it's like the the tradesman like know that they lost one of their own. So they're coming out and supporting them. Like it must've been a massive ordeal to, to get that steam engine out after being winterized. Yeah. And just, and all these guys polishing, polishing up their steam engines. Usually it's polishing it up for their image, but now it's like, they're doing that to showcase Fred. Fred. Yeah. So it's a little yeah. bit more, more attention to detail more. It's just more, heartwarming like the yeah. community came out that he was 100%. massively a part of 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, we haven't even seen the full thing yet, but no. even this little first bit alone is that's just yeah. It gets it, it, it's, it's honestly giving me goosebumps. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, the police shut down the roads. Yeah, you know. I mean, that doesn't really happen here anyway. You know what I mean? No, no. Not, let alone a tiny, probably very important road over there. Yeah. Love it. Love mm. it, man. Well, there's Betsy, finally in steam. Being driven out carefully up the about a one in eight slope. And his uh, back garden, it's at low level, out through the gate onto the road. That's me in the white overalls. I'm actually driving the roller. One of Fred's last requests when he was making his own arrangements. Uh, he did ask the, the main organiser uh, if he'd get me to drive the roller. Because believe it or not, over the years, very, very few people were ever privileged to drive his roller. He needed a steersman, of course, and a few of his friends have helped him out steering. But uh, he knew I was a regular traction engine driver, of course, so he, uh, he paid me the honour of asking would I drive Betsy on, its, uh, on his final journey, which obviously I was very, very delighted to be asked. And, uh, couldn't refuse, obviously. We were expecting a little, possibly a little bit of trouble with the roller because it had sprung a, a tube leak some time previously. But the boiler inspector had had a look at it and he had given it clearance. He said it'll be all right. And in fact it was. It, uh, it didn't let us down. The living van will be going behind the roller with his name on, of course. The living van has, has been recently restored, ready for his... Uh, nationwide tour behind mm -hmm. his tractor and there's his tractor yeah. 27 that. years work from virtually a pile of scrap through to the fine machine you see today ah oh, there's one of fred's mining friends probably a retired miner i can't put a name to him but uh, I have a feeling that he's one of the chaps that may well have helped him out during his uh, the digging of his coal mine in his back garden controversial coal mine which all the neighbours thought was going to cause their houses to disappear <coughs> nothing of the sort mm -mm. just coupling up the land over there to behind the living van police did an excellent job for us this day the procession had no trouble at all going exactly where we wanted to go it was all planned beforehand of course and the police did an excellent job. They carried messages for us and they cleared the way and they gave us an escort wherever we needed it. There's the Rolls Royce, the vehicle of style that's brought him from the Chapel of the Rest. And now be transferred onto the flat wagon. That's another of his mining friends, ex-miner, runs a club at West Horton now, in the miners club. Now just notice how easy that coffin slides along those ladders. That's because they've all been fitted up with rollers <laughs> just for the purpose to receive it. Um. That's Michael Weber just climbing up now to tie it down. That's the lad that's gone to all the trouble of preparing the wagon and bringing it 170 miles. Whoa! And the Land Rover. That's a lot. His Land Rover, that is. Done an excellent job, Michael. That's dedication. 
and that's the Elephant and Castle which forms a major part of Bolton's coat of arms of course that's why that's there just to uh, remind everybody that uh, Fred was a genuine son of Bolton just in case they'd forgotten which I'm sure they hadn't but history will remember that no. This is the band, a, T, a local TA band of the Royal Artillery. And we uh, volunteered for the occasion. They led the procession. Time's getting short now. So getting close to the time to move off. We were on time all throughout, by the way. There were no delays. Wow. There's Betsy, good head of steam. Uh, steering on this, uh, this occasion is Roger Murray, one of the main organisers of all this. Uh, he'd done a lot of work. Friend of Fred's of many, many years. Steam engine man. Doesn't own one at present, but has, has done in the past. And they've always kept kept in touch with one another, and uh, he readily stepped in and uh, undertook a, a lot of this organisation. Done an excellent job. And Jack, Fred's eldest lad, from the Isle of Man, was steering the the tractor along with Michael Weber. I visited Fred on, uh, on two or three occasions during his uh, last few weeks at the hospital and at the hospice uh, where incidentally they looked after him very very well, he was very comfortable uh, and he did, uh, Roger Murray and Michael uh, visited him on a number of occasions and uh, that's where he, he expressed most of his wishes. He wanted a good Victorian funeral, he said. Mm. And by job, that's what he got. Without a shadow of a doubt. You know, you can the weather wasn't too brilliant light rain uh, for most of the day but uh, as you'll see it didn't deter people from uh, coming to pay their last respects expecting a lot of people to, to turn out but uh, when we saw the, the weather we thought that might have reduced the numbers slightly but it certainly didn't. Everybody who decided to come took no notice of the bad weather and they all turned out as you'll see when we get to the church. And before we get to the church that's that right there I that's tells a lot about how big Fred Dibna was, how much he meant to everybody in the city of yeah. Bolton and just in Britain in general is that it's not and not a a regular day in Britain that's you know bad weather, not that it, that good weather isn't going to deter 
yeah. people from coming out to pay respects to the myth, the man, the legend, Mr. Fred Dibna. Yep. I mean, that's that's just that just says something, you know, like it's it's one of the days worth getting wet for. Yeah. You know, like. That's that's pretty much it. It's like, hey, it rains every day, but not every day does it rain and we get to pay our respects to a legend. Right. Right. And already this procession is amazing. It's exactly oh, what yeah. Fred would want. Oh, yeah. It, it, he expressed he wanted a Victorian style funeral, and I have no idea what Victorian yeah. style is. I'm he's please everybody let us know is I, this Victorian yeah, I feel like, style. I feel like he used that a lot during our you know our our um our journey with Fred. He used that word Victorian. Yeah. And so does that yeah, just let us know what that means because I know that word. I just don't know what that word is referring to. Or is right. it like a time frame? Is it a style? Is it and like I don't know. So yeah. we didn't grow up with that, so no. we don't know. And they're all moving off now. The order of the procession was that uh, the band, followed by the roller, towing the living band and Land Rover, followed by his tractor. Twenty-seven years' work, just finally completed, just in time, driven by. Michael Weber and Jack, his eldest son. Roger, the youngest lad, was with with with, with me on the roller, followed by uh, his wife and her immediate family in the rolls, and uh, Fred's three daughters, who also kept in close contact with him during his uh, his. Uh, Hospital stay. They were in the cars, and then there's the four visiting engines. A sad day for us all, of course, but uh, I'm sure Jack there would have would have felt it more than most. But very, very luckily, uh, driving the engine and looking after the engine and preparing the engine, of course. At least it took his mind off things for a while. He'd driven it quite a bit. And the first time it ever ventured up that slope, when Fred finally completed it and got it steam worthy, uh, Jack came over for the occasion. I think he was with him the first time it put its wheels on the road. And even though he lives in the Isle of Man, he came over at every opportunity. So he followed the... Uh, and he came over quite a few times during Fred's recent uh, countrywide tour. Wow. That is a heck of a crowd. Now this is just outside the church and just look at the crowds there. Now I don't know whether you've ever been to a funeral where the, where the crowds uh, appreciate the preparation by applauding but that's what happened yeah. there. Yeah. It was quite overwhelming, really. The whole of Bolton turned out. Yeah, they, they put a lot of effort into this funeral. This wasn't any no. ordinary funeral. Like, no. This is the type of funeral that is only fit for, you know, members of the monarchy or, you know, famous musicians, yeah. famous actors, famous... Mili military. Like, military. Like, uh, personnel Ooh. like this uh, this is shows you how big fred Dibno was to the people of bolton that's it, just amazing it, it's, it's just he's a, he's a uh once in a lifetime uh historical icon yeah you know and it and it's just so amazing that people like understood that and they came out you know like that's that's that says a lot you know especially uh, I I wouldn't say that you know 
you're not really you know what i want to save that until the end i want to say that yeah. until the end. but um but no it's 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 actually very massive that everyone yeah. everyone came out everyone oh, yeah. came out. yeah 100 percent the applause was uh, their way of appreciating the preparation work which had got into it. The church, I believe, holds about 550 and it was uh, full to standing. Mm. Wow. The undertaker, one of the undertaker's jobs had to uh, make sure that the church was occupied by people with a perfectly legitimate reason to be there. And the rest were quite happy to stand in the rain outside. Goodness. I wouldn't mind betting that this is the the biggest funeral that that undertaker's ever done and ever likely to do. I only had a few, like 10 minutes, but it showed me his mind, Shaft. Uh, yeah. Showed me around his back garden, and, and do you know something like a kid's dream? 
It was like, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, oh, yeah. you know what's Sam all Pitt? this here? Yeah. You know that sandpit, there's a sandpit down there. Yeah, down at bottom, yeah. And you know coping stones off a chimney? Yeah. Well, that's what well I remember was. another one, that's when we watched him drop a chimney. You remember Morrison's up Charlie oh, Hill Road? Yeah. Now, I've been told it weren't him lately, but I don't, I know it was. And he burned it, and chimney, whoom, and all he did was run away. Onk, onk, with, you know, with like a, a thing on him. Onk, onk. And he were legging it, and chimney were going down, and he were, he were off. He were gone. He were, he were laughing his head off. As though it were a laugh, but... Sorry, I couldn't do that. Then I'm telling it up. Fred, and brilliant guy. Like to watch him on TV. He was down to air, not on many celebrities. He was an ordinary man that ordinary people could relate to. And I'm going to miss him dearly. Thank you. What do you think of the funeral today? Do you think it's really got Bolton people out? It's got a lot of people out. Not only from Bolton, from Liverpool, from even across the world, there are a few people here. And it just shows the strength that he was regarded. He's really a nice, really like nice guy. He was liked, loved, down to earth. Did you meet him yourself? No, I didn't. But I feel what I have now. I've been here today. I've enjoyed the spirit of the people here, and he really has touched my heart. And yes, I did have a cry. Thank you very much. Very, very upsetting. Uh, glad that we've missed him. He's a good man. You know what I mean? Everyone will miss him. Did you ever meet him yourself? Yeah, I've met him myself, yeah. Good and how chap. did you find him? Very good, good gentleman, yeah. And with Roy, you, you knew Fred, didn't you, Roy? Yeah, we all knew Fred. <laughs> good morning. What are your thoughts today? Sad ones. Very sad ones. Very sad ones. And years and years ago, you used to go down there and do a bit of filming on his yard and stuff like that, didn't you? Yeah, I think it was 25 years ago when I was down filming when we was doing the roller up at that time for, for the Wigan uh, Corporation and uh, re-boiler in it and filmed it coming up out of the yard a few times and going out on its first uh, road run and trials yeah it's a very sad day indeed it's How will you remember Fred? Well he was always very jolly jovial he liked talking to everybody Gave everybody the information. Once you got to to know him, he was a, a really nice guy. There's the book of Kundi. Man, so I'm gonna say that he was up there. Like the, the few comparable people to him in the states would be like Mr. Rogers or Bob Ross, and for Australia, it'd be like Steve Irwin. You know? Yeah. Just yo know, kindness. Uh, yeah, one of the things he he's preaching, you know, along with the thing he was passionate about, which is you know, steam engines and where you know that. I feel thing. like where where the work of his hands and who he was as as a human being uh, was that's what got him big. Not yeah. necessarily the he wasn't after the claim to fame. He wasn't after the attention at all ever and that right. shows and it's just when you have the people that are genuine and they're like the the people's champion almost they're like yeah a man of the people you know not not kind of sort of made for the spotlight but right. somehow found himself there and it's like he was their champion yeah right and when you lose that, it's just, it's, you don't, like, not just the road loses it, not just your family loses it, the community loses it, the country loses that. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's very interesting. It's very, like, it sparks that hope, you know, like, he was one of the, the normal people that, that is shown respect for who he was, you know, yeah. he was never more than. He was never trying to be more than who he was. Right. And that yeah. is, is you can't say that now about a lot of people. Yeah. I, I could say that about you, honestly, like you have a bit of a well, selflessness about you. And like, uh, I, I strive to have that myself. It's hard for me to do that, but dude, all I know is that when I do pass, 
right? When I do pass, there should not be a full beer bottle anywhere near my casket or ashes or area of rest. I I will be sure of that and vice vice versa, man. (laughs) Promise me when you spread the ashes, when whoever's spreading the ashes, make sure everyone that gathers, if there is anyone that gathers in a circle around it, make sure the most important ones are downwind so they get hit in the face with the ash. That's my last (laughs) little hurrah. (laughs) <laughs> you got it brother you got it <laughs> pick, pick a windy ass day to do it please you got um, it because <laughs> that would be funny <laughs> what was that there was one it was like spread my ashes and what is it spread my ashes and target so that way i know my wife will visit me <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah uh, there you go there you go yeah, there you go man i just I just, I'm going to go the Willie Nelson route. Just roll me up and smoke me when I die. Oh, God. <laughs> just, just put me in the, the ashtray you can just stub your butts out in. But <laughs> I'm not, I'm not using it. You know what I mean? No. Yeah, yeah. But oh, it, it's just, it's just a sad, it's a, it's a sad, it's a sombering thing, man. You it know? is. Yeah. It, 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 it's like you're losing a neighbor. Like yeah. a, a family member that you see at Christmas or things like that, you know? It's it's just very fortunate and very, like, his family, his kids, his it, the, next to kin, his closest, his closest friends always have a place to tap into his face and his voice. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know, and that's the, the beauty of the internet now. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it, you can that people people that are 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 lost now have possibly a bank of memories and photos and videos of themselves to tap into yeah yeah that's what social media was meant to be and uh i yeah. i would hope that we continue to be that i won't talk about the negative parts about yeah, it no. but let's focus on the positive parts yes. here and yes. on, like i said at the top of this through the power of youtube fred lives on always and it's just it's it's awesome this is the the like the best use of technology out there is that we oh, yeah. have this heck yeah Espe- especially nowadays oh yeah yeah new orleans which had many many signatures on i'll remember him fred as a a cheerful chap who was always prepared to speak to him Sadly missed, Wilfred. There's Barry Neweth, one of the chaps who gave him one of his very early steeplejacking jobs. The vicar of uh, Radcliffe at the time, and he be- later became vicar of Kirby Mallam in Yorkshire, and he christened the two lads at Kirby Mallam. And we repaired his church tower, Fred, and that was during the time I was with Fred. He uh, he repointed his church tower and I painted the gutters and downspouts. Well, we were there, we were there for two or three weeks. Stayed in lodgings up there, Monday to Friday. Poor Jack, feeling it just a bit more than most, I'm sure. Oh, man. Shared a lot of common interest with his dad. He's gone in for engineering. So he's got to be... Inherited a lot of his dad's interests. He's now with the Isle of Man Railways. Oh, Steam yes. Railways, of course. This really is the day that, uh, that brought Bolton to a complete standstill. There was no work done in Bolton between 12 o'clock and 2 o'clock that day. They all turned out, stood everywhere they could. It was looking up Churchgate towards the church from the 
for Bradshagate. Patiently waiting. There we are, a cloud of steam in the background indicating that we've finally set off. There's a parade right round the periphery of the town now, terminating at the Tong Cemetery. People used to ask Fred, have you ever fallen off? Have you ever fallen off, he used to say. You only fall off this job once and it's half a day with the undertaker. <laughs> a phrase he used many, many times. Oh, man. It's a great pity that there was no camera up by the fire station because the route took us past the fire station and all the duty firemen lined up and stood to attention in a long line right across the front of the fire station with the four fire engines deliberately brought out with all the lights on uh, and saluted us as we went past. It was a fine sight and it's just a pity that there wasn't a camera there to pick it up. Mm. But it was certainly much appreciated by, uh, by the travellers in the, in the party. Traffic lights were ignored, of course, we had a policeman in front of us and uh, he warned everybody at the junction that uh, we were on our way and they all just stopped. There were no problems with the traffic. Here we have the people of Bolton, they're well satisfied with what they've seen. They made the effort to come out on a miserable day, as evident by all the umbrellas. And, uh, they're now making their way back to work or back home, as the case may be. They've all made the special effort. That's very, very nice to see. Presumably mostly Boltonians, who felt that they knew Fred like a friend, even though they'd possibly never met him, a lot of them, but just because of his popularity on television and I mean popularity I don't mean popularity in the way that a, a pop singer might be they, everybody felt that Fred was a genuine character and by Jove he was anybody that made the effort to come and have a look round his place the man they spoke to in his yard was exactly the same man that they saw on television there was absolutely no difference he didn't have what they call an image Fred was Fred, whether he was on television or chatting to somebody in his yard, it was just the same. Nice to see Jack driving there rather than steering. Eminently capable. Shout out to Jack. Like, Man. that's the name of his son, right? Like, yep. 
he is handling this really well. Like, I I would be in, uh, in well shambles. Well, the day the day when it comes, you know, um, your mind is, you know, I I, I from my experience in 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 this, um, time stands still. Time does a funny thing. Yeah. In this moment where you are essentially rendered a zombie. Yeah. You go through yeah. motions. You know, you go through motions. Uh, it doesn't hit you until months later, maybe weeks, if you know yeah. how to process that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Jack is is literally um, probably coasting, probably thinking of everything, trying not to think of anything. Yeah, just to get yeah. get to the next point, next point, and that's why the the guy said, you know, it's good to have busy work, good yeah. to keep his mind busy, so he yeah. doesn't have a full breakdown, like you know we all know he would want to do. Yeah, yeah, um, and and it's yeah. good that his father instilled in him busy work, busy. Yep hobbies and that'll help him you know get yep. through it and at the same time always be connected with his father yep. that way he'll never forget him that way you know yeah and and that's you know for the for the family this this day is is a, is a different kind of day like this you know when you have this many people you, this you know you have to hit this time slot this time slot this time slot it's just yeah you know, it breaks it up but for everyone else like you know this is a moment this is you know, you see all of your your fellow people out there in, in the community, all your community guys out there just paying respects. You yeah. know, it's kind of like because Fred was so relatable and so, you know, you could connect so deeply with Fred from the get go, from right in the jump. Like there was no he didn't have time for lies or playing the, the popular game like you connected with him. Yeah, he was and, he was Fred. He was the same dude at the pub or in his front lawn yeah. as he was on TV. And and that's something where, you know, when you when that kind of spirit or that kind of person passes, it's a it's a massive loss. It's a it's a loss of a of a light. And oh, that yeah. is that, you know, there's there's a million others that spread darkness, whereas only a few spread light in this yeah. world. And it's it's a, it's something to go out and to show respect for. You know, and, and that's what they did. Yeah. That's what they did, man. Did it really well, too. Mm. Vicar of Bolton on the left and Fred's friend, the vicar from Kirby Mallam. And here we have Fred approaching his final resting place to be saluted in the way that he would have wished, which is not unique for a steam man, but at least it's extremely appropriate. A long blast on the whistles of the attending engines. Well, that just about sums up a, a unique day. Uh, a good friend of mine, Fred. As I say, I met him first about 1965-66. Wow. wow. And enjoyed five happy years working with him from 89 to 94. 
and uh, he'll be missed by everybody in Bolton and far more besides. He came over on the television as though everybody felt they knew him and uh, he had a great following and he will certainly be sadly missed by me and many, many others. Thank you.
man. That was like, oh, my yeah. God. Dude. Goosebumps. Goosebumps is the first word that comes to mind. And I mean, like, do you do you even give this a thumbs up? Like everyone knows this is just epic. It's just epic. It's, just, it's yeah, like a disservice. Like, you know what it, I mean? It's, it's not a enough. disservice to give uh, any kind of rating that we've ever um, any whatever the highest rating we've given anything. Go back through our history of like a twelve hundred videos times yeah. that by ten. That's because it's just like at the end of the day, man. He was pushing stuff that like really mattered. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. Yeah, in the grand yeah. scheme of things. Grand scheme of things, man. He left a legacy. That's yeah. all we can ever hope to leave, man. And I, I give I have been known to compare him to Chuck Norris multiple times. And I and the one thing that separates him from Chuck Norris is that he kills him with kindness. Yes. He, Very he, true. He, true. He, he, and it, like a gentle giant kind yeah, of man. That's he, what I meant. That's what I mean when I say that. I just feel like, you know. There's few times in the world feels like it's lost someone special, you know, yeah. and this is one of those instances, you know, and it's not like I, I say it like that, you know, um, but there are few, few where, where, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I like what I'm trying to get at is like at least this internet exists and we have clips of him still. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. it, it brings it light in a dark place that is called the internet. I almost said dark web, but that's a completely different thing. Yeah. What I meant yeah. to say was this is a bit of positivity in a negative world. Yeah. And um, a little bit of wholesomeness, you know, yeah. that, that the, the batteries that we all should have. Yeah. Um, and a good bit of respect for machinery and yeah. the great marbles of human engineering. Yeah, the, the just, tradesmen that don't yeah. get a voice. He was their it's, voice. Exactly. And it just, whenever I over with things like this, it just makes me think of my own legacy and what we're going to leave behind as ourselves, you know. And yeah, it's just a reminder to be kind and... I, I struggle with it uh sometimes. You're 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 definitely the more gentle of the two of us. Well well in that I, man, it's all about what what you're leaving behind. You know what I mean? Yeah, like that yeah. it's coming for us all. That's the only fair part about life. Right. Is, is that, that you can't, we all you have can't an, take it we, with you. Yeah, we all have a end date. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's just this find knowing that we have two years ago, we didn't know who he was. Yeah. At all. Hex. Never heard his name. Less than all. a year ago, we didn't know. This Less time last year, year, we didn't know who he was. Very true. And so his memory lives on through through and videos on YouTube and reruns on the um, over there across the pond. And yeah. I'm just, you know, that's the whole reason I I doing what I do. I love doing this. I, I you and me both. It's beyond me. It's somewhere where my son can watch me do what I love. Yeah. Do do what I love to do and and see me pursue a passion of mine and that's yeah. this. And so if we can be seeing Fred long after he's he's then that gives me hope for my son to someday see me doing what I love when I have passed. And that is what it's about. It's like you make the ripples, yeah. you know? And it carries over. It's like this stuff never gets lost and it's just like it, right. it's proven in the case of Fred, you know that we checked him out. So my God, he passed a while ago. It wasn't yeah. like reason. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't that long ago, right? Right, right. It was less at the time of this recording. It's less than twenty years ago. Yeah. So you know, twenty years. That means our stuff will live on twenty years from now. You know what I mean? Like you know what yeah, I mean? Like it's in so. the grand. <laughs> yeah, in the grand scheme of things, it's good to know that your voice will still. be have a place long after you are gone, long after I am dust, you yeah. know, our, our family and our, and our future generations that come from, you know, us will have a place to tap in to see grandpa doing his thing or great yeah. grandpa doing his thing in my yeah, 100%. So that, <laughs> that's a blessing right there. You know, love that. Yeah. I love it. I think way ahead, 
with this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, play a chess, as we like to say in private. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> oh, man. You know, the, everyone who suggested this to us, thank yes. you for suggesting this to us. Yes. This was a, a great watch, and I think it gave us both a better appreciation for the myth, the man, the legend, the only yeah. Fred Dibna that there is. Yes, yes. yes. There can only be one. Mm-hmm. So, man, that was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. So around, you can subscribe and watch another video. Wash your hands, grab your toes, wipe your butt, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and stay legendary, guys. In a world of negativity, be a Fred Divna. Yep. See y'all in the next one. Later.